Okay, now we're going to explore how I believe the Model 3's cooling system works. This is the reservoir assembly right here. It's got two pumps on it, one there and one there, a valve in the middle that's controlled electrically, and looks like it has uh, two internal lines and two external lines. That's some sort of a four-way valve. But anyway, what I believe happens is you can see the chiller up there. It's that silver thing that takes uh, refrigerant from the AC system and transfers the heat out of the coolant into the AC system so that during supercharging the uh, water can actually be cooler than ambient. Anyway, the water or glycol comes out of the heat exchanger, the chiller, comes into this line. This little manifold here splits some of the coolant to come over to here going into the firewall and that cools the car's computers, the ICE and the autopilot ECU with cooled water. And you can see a lot of it just goes straight through that, that valve and it only diverts a portion of it because the computer doesn't need much cooling. Anyway, that line comes down here, splits off. One goes in here, 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 and here. So four places into the battery, which are the four modules in the battery. It travels the length of the battery and then is manifolded internally to two outlets, one here and one here. And you can see that one comes up, joins the one right next to it, and then goes into a Y fitting here and joins into one pipe that runs down the left side rocker panel, emerges here, And get a good view of it. Comes up and then goes in right here into that four-way valve. So I imagine uh, at that point that could be a complete loop or it could probably be put in series with the powertrain loop. And the powertrain loop uh, comes down the other side. There's two separate pipes. One coming off the bottom of the tank or the bottom of that four-way valve right there. And the other one comes up and goes, looks like out of that pump. So that, that, that must be the bottom one must be the return. And this is the output being driven by that pump. Anyway, that output comes down here and goes into the top of the two types that travel down the rocker, passenger side rocker. And then here comes out, goes into the penthouse. Inside the penthouse is the PCS, the power conversion system, which consists of the charger and the DC to DC converter. Those electronics are cooled, and then uh, it comes out of the penthouse here into this pipe, goes into the bottom of the inverter. There's a chill plate here where all the uh, electronics in the inverter are mounted, the silicon carbide, IGBTs or FETs, whatever there. And then it comes out of the top, right here, comes over to another stack plate heat exchanger and that cools the, the uh, oil that's in the gear train here, differential and gear reduction. There's a separate oil pump to uh, pump oil through that heat exchanger and a little filter and then it comes out and then works its way back over here, yeah, right here and then returns up to that tube that we identified in the rocker. So it cools the, that this loop cools the powertrain, uh, or the, the PCS power conversion system, then the inverter, and then the gearbox, which makes sense. And then of course there's the uh, refrigerant system, which consists of the air conditioning, and it has two loops. Uh, it has a, a standard loop, just like every other car has, that goes inside to the evaporator and the evaporator cools the passenger compartment. Um, I can't, this isn't a good view for seeing that. Maybe I'll make a second video for that. But anyway, uh, the uh, second loop goes to the chiller so that it can chill that stack plate heat exchanger on the glycol loop. And it's pretty simple. It's very similar to uh, Model S. However, um, it looks like it's overall just a little simpler with fittings and stuff with these lot of pre-molded pipes and the 
uh, noted absence is there is no battery heater. So they use the powertrain waste heat and they actually have a mode where they can put it in a less efficient mode to waste more heat um, that can heat the battery up faster in the winter. And of course the waste heat from the PCS is also used. And that's it.